Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to be going over a way to edit objects and model them in 3ds Max. So this method is called extruding and it's one of the most basic ways of modeling things. Uh, it can be used on a wide variety of models uh, but it's definitely not the most effective way for a great deal of them but it's the most elementary so I'll start with it. Alright, so to demonstrate this process I'm going to be modeling this uh, Coca-Cola bottle uh, using a cylinder and the extrude tool. Alright, so we'll go ahead and make a cylinder about that size and move it up about that much. Now in the modify tab over here you can edit the amount of segments um, well, for the height segments, we want to keep it at 1 for this tutorial. And to see what I'm talking about, you can press F4 to see these uh, vertices right here, these edges. Uh, so if I increase the height segments, these give me unwanted edges, uh, and I just want 1 for now. All right, so uh, to, edit, uh, to extrude it and edit it in general, you want to right-click on the object and convert to um, editable poly. Now, in the Modify tab over here, we uh, can select the polygon uh, face, which lets us select an, a face of the object and then work with that, and this allows you to extrude it. So, we'll go ahead and select this face, the top one, uh, and before we extrude it, we want to actually expand it by using right-click and press scale, and we'll go ahead and move this out to create the wider bowl. Uh, on the bottom, and then we can extrude. So this moves it straight up, and we might want to scale this a bit more. And uh, as I said, this is definitely not the most effective way, uh, but if you have a great deal amount of time on your hands and if you want precision, you can definitely do this. So I'm going to speed up this process here. Essentially what I'm doing is the same all the way through, and I'm sure you can follow that. So now that we have our Coca-Cola bottle modeled, um, we can put a few final touches on it by uh, smoothing out these edges. Um, to do that, we'll have to go into modifiers up top and um, do uh, subdivision surfaces and then mesh smooth. This adds extra vertices and uh, it smooths them out so that it, now it looks like a more continuous bottle. Um, now it's smooth. And to take off these vertices, once again, press F4 and we can see our final product here. So that's the basics of the extrude tool. It can be used on a lot of different things, not just vertical bottles but I hope this tutorial gave you the start for it. So thank you, this has been Kremlin for the Techies.